My first summer in the Sierra by John Muir, July twenty fifth. Another cloudland. Some clouds have an overripe, decaying look, watery and bedraggled, and drawn out into wind-torn shreds and patches, giving the sky a littered appearance. All are beautiful, with smooth, definite outlines and curves like those of glacier-polished domes. They begin to grow about eleven o'clock, and seem so wonderfully near and clear from this high camp. One is tempted to try to climb them and trace the streams that pour like cataracts from their shadowy fountains. The rain to which they give birth is often very heavy, a sort of waterfall as imposing as if pouring from rock mountains. Never in all my travels. Have I found anything more truly novel and interesting than these midday mountains of the sky? Their fine tones of color, majestic visible growth, and ever-changing scenery and general effects, though mostly as well, let alone as far as description goes. I sometimes think of Shelley's cloud poem: "I sift the snow on the mountains below."